Today we're going to be installing some metal halide lights here into the garage. These are the uh, Jump Start 100 watt metal halide lamps. These of course are grow lights, but I don't see any reason why they can't be used for general purpose illumination. So I think I want to put four. One here. And one here. Well actually what I got to do is I got to put it up first and make sure that it doesn't interfere like the fan doesn't create like a strobing effect so I'm just going to start with one and uh, get it going turn the fan on see what that looks like because I could put it either there in line with the fan or here which is closer to the benches but I think further back would, would make more sense and look better just because of the way the the room is, is illuminated right now there's enough illumination over the benches don't need any more so first I'm going uh, to drill some holes into the ceiling for the hooks to go into and we might as well do this properly and measure it distance of the hooks. The hooks are 13 inches apart, just shy of 12 and 3 quarters. So let's come over here and we're going to drill. We'll start right here. Okay, this. Start there and then we'll go 12 and 3 quarter over which is going to be, I better check this way too. Somewhere right around here, it's not a work of precision. Screw in a little bit more easily. I have these one and a half inch cup hooks. I use these downstairs uh, in the laundry room when I had one of these lights hanging up in there for testing. And uh, it's been up there for months and it seemed to work fine. So. We're going to go ahead and use these again. And then we're going to have to figure out how to electrify these things. But until I find out exactly where I want them, I'm not going to even bother trying to sort that out. There's the hooks. And there's the light. ladder is super flaky, I should have used the other one. Oh man, these hang pretty low. It's not ideal. 
It's not terrible, but I would have preferred him to hang higher up. Although now I suppose the advantage of this is I don't think it'll create any kind of stroke with the VM. Really would have liked it to be in line with uh, with the ceiling. What I could do to make it higher is I could move I could just move the hooks further apart. So maybe I'll do that. I'm going to drill in a second hole just for sample purposes. I'm going to add another hook that's further away so it's such that um, it'll bring, bring the light up further because if I unhook this, and if I was to hook it up over here, you know, all of a sudden the light is at the ceiling height. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to add another hook here. And we'll have to check it to compare the light out because we might find that the light output diminishes when it's in between the rafters. I don't think so, because higher up is usually better, but who knows? I'm gonna wait and see. results that I expected. Hmm. Well that's certainly unsatisfactory. Now why the heck is it like that? Are you seeing this trash? The mug is all crooked. Where the heck's that? There it is. That ain't gonna work at all. Well, I guess we're stuck with it the way it was. Because the way it was is better than this garbage. That looks awful. That gets a zero. Big old goose egg. No good. I like this either, but it's better. Actually, I'm going to keep that up there. I'm going to do that. So, wire is getting annoying. Alright, I mean it's not terrible, but it's not the way I wanted it. Let's turn it on. See if we get a good start up here of the bulb, which is the metal halide bulb with mercury, as most of the good lighting sources have. I'll plug it into the kilowatt meter just for curiosity's sake. And now it's drawing 3 amps, which is way too much power for this room. 55 watts, power factor of 0.14. That is abysmal. See so that green mercury color right now? And it just burned off and now it's more of a bluish. Wow, power factor is horrific on these things. Hopefully it goes up once <coughs> <coughs> Hopefully it goes up once it gets, uh, you know, up to 
the up to uh, I guess up to temperature. Yeah, that makes sense. The other thing you got to watch out for, uh, which we'll be able to determine once it's operational, is does it create shadows on the bench as I stand here? Because that'll look bad in the video. So it is creating a shadow right now. But the question is if I had a second one right over there, would it fill in that shadow? And I tend to think the answer is yes. Alright, I'm going to get up to brightness here and then we'll uh, evaluate it again. Alright, so that's up to full brightness now. And it's bright. It's pretty good light. It does create some strobing over here. Like, you see it right there, that one blade. But, that might fill in once there are other um, lights up. So, let me add the other two. And we'll go from there. The power factor is still abysmal. It's uh, 0.37, which is giving us 2.69 amps. I can't spare 3 amps per bulb in here because we just don't have that much electricity, so these might end up not working out. Oh, good, it's good stuff when I gotta talk on a phone anyways. I've got three of them installed and it looks really cool. The problem is they draw way too much power and they're kind of loud. The lighting's phenomenal, but they're loud. And the power factor thing is an issue because we're looking at 2.7 amps per, per fixture so that's almost going to be 10 amps for all four. I know I have four but I can't find a fourth one so I'm going to have to run a dedicated circuit just for the stinking lights in here and I don't have that so I don't know. I'll keep it for now but when a summer comes back around and I'm running the air conditioner in here this is going to be a problem because I'm going to run out of power but wow it lights up the room really really well definitely a good clean crisp light for sure and I like that much but the power is it's just a little too much normally I'm not one to care about the efficiency and the power draw and all that stuff but this is a special case because there's very limited power in here and eating up 10 amps just for the lights is crazy.